All right, everybody, good afternoon, and welcome to Fired Up Friday. It is actually episode eight. Can you believe that, Chef Brandon? Four plus four equals eight, man. Oh, Seems my like God. Seems like we were just on one the other day. <laughs> I tell you, it is just, it's flying by, and, and I'm so excited today. We've got some very special guests. In fact, we have the co-founders of Fire Disc, Griff and Hunter Jagger. Gentlemen, how are you doing down there in Texas? Good. We're hot. We're hot. Happy Friday. <laughs> happy Friday. Yeah, happy it's Friday. Fun. Happy Friday, man. We're so we're, glad we're to have good. you guys. We're surviving hurricanes and yeah, you know, dodging, so, dodging dodging hurricanes, bugs, hurricanes, winds, rain, the whole deal. Mosquitoes. We lucked out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you. I tell you, we're, we're so excited to have you guys on finally, you know, episode eight. I don't know why it took us this long to get you guys on. You know, the inventors of fire disc. What's up with that? I don't know. What do you do, working? Good Lord. Yeah, we're working a little bit, you know, trying yeah. to grow a good vibe here, something like that, feeding the family. Oh, okay, that's, that's awesome. Well, I tell you, for those of, for those of us... Um, I know the story of Fire Disc, but for those that are, are watching and may, you know, not know the story or heard it from your guys' mouth, why don't you just give us a kind of little short, brief history of Fire Disc? Yeah, absolutely. Happy to do it. I'm Hunter. This is my brother, Griff. Uh, we grew up, had a bunch of different businesses over the years uh, from, you know, golf balls, repairing bikes. We always had businesses, but one of, one of the things we did most often was go hunting and fishing and we just got real disingenuous with all the, the cooking equipment. We're always very particular with the, a lot of the cooking equipment, like a lot of people probably on our owner's group. But my father-in-law is a farmer in West Texas, gave us a plow disc, and we uh, we started using it and thought it was kind of a cool way to cook. And uh, we took it to a welding shop and uh, working two jobs at the time. And, uh, you know, things evolved, and, you know, here it is on, on what we have today. Yeah, one this is what we came one up napkin with. drawing to another, we came up with a fire disc. Always, always improving, but uh, you know we had to, you know, our, we take it on the trips with our buddies, and it was a, it was a hit. And we're like, you know, I think there's some life here, and uh, you know we just wanted to create something that you could use every day, not only in your backyard but on the go as well. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I tell you, I can't thank you enough for you know for inventing this product. It's amazing. We're having such a great time with it, and I know Chef Brandon is uh, loving it, loving it, loving it. Yeah, Had a great, good old time. Awesome. Well, we're going to have a very, very special episode today. We are going to have the Steak Dinner Challenge, and it is Florida against Texas. And All right. I tell you, I, I don't, we don't know what each other is cooking. We're about to unveil that here in just a second. But just wanted to remind everybody, you know, comment to win. Uh, we'll be picking random winners uh, throughout the uh, throughout the episode and after. So if you want a um, fire disc swag pack, we're gonna have some really cool stuff, some other giveaways. So be sure to, you know, comment below throughout the whole episode and and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So without anything further, we're gonna start with we we both of us got some fantastic steaks from Duke's Butcher, Butcher Shop in Houston. And we've got the, I think they're Wagyu skirt steaks, is that right? So you guys got those, right? right. Yeah, they are Wagyu. Duke's Butcher Shop was kind enough to send us some uh, Wagyu skirt steaks, which is the hot ticket right now. That's great. So why don't you guys tell us? Let's go. What are you guys cooking? So, you know, in in Texas here, we like to keep things a little more simple. I mean, I, I just took a guess to see what y'all were going to cook. We got that gator or whatever y'all do in Florida there. I don't know. <laughs> uh, just kidding. But we, we're going to go with chicken fried steak with the Wagyu skirt steak. Because everybody here loves Ooh, chicken nice. fried steak. And then we like to keep things local as well. So we're doing a little uh, Shiner Bop mushrooms with some secret ingredients as well. So, um, like I said, it's more simple. It's easy to cook. I think anyone at home can do it. Uh, but I know that the flavor will be outstanding. And, uh. I know it'll probably be better than your, your gator steaks or whatever y'all are doing. <laughs> and, and I have to, I have to say, guys, you know, Grip and I grew up a little style of uh, learning to cook. You know, it's usually uh, kind of what you have at the uh, hunting or fishing camp, which is not usually much. And uh, you know, probably one of them's expired, and you just you just go with that. You just too, go with so, it. Yeah, that's <laughs> that. Are y'all doing like a side of python or what? 
what's next? <laughs> oh, man. You, you know, it's, it's kind of like that. That and uh, Fresh Little Florida Panther. You know, it's also, uh, there you, uh, go. you know, <laughs> we're going to go right down to Glades and, and see what what illegal we can find to pull out. You know, the python, they encourage us to cook, but the, the <laughs> panther, not so much. But what we're going to do is we got a little. Oh, look at this. Since it is lobster season, oh. I had my buddy bring these back from the Keys last night. And we're going to do a little steak and lobster. Just oh, my gosh. And I think. So it's it's gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna, it's not gonna be like the the flambéed steak and lobster and the, the lobster bernays and hollandaise sauce. We're gonna do a, a basically a one pot and a vegetable warm vegetable salad, hot hot and warm vegetable salad. A little bit of kind of uh, Thai ingredients in there, and we're gonna come for you, yo. Yeah. Florida. Nice. Wait, hey, you guys are going down. down. We're gonna keep it nice and fresh. Lobster. We just couldn't find it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you could you find your hand down there? Could you see it in front of your face? Yeah. 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 You gotta find, you gotta search yeah. that though. Them in the Louisiana mud, so you like them. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Why don't you, uh, Chef Brandon? What are we gonna do first? All right. Well, cool, man. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. We got these beautiful Snake River Farm wagus from Dukes in Houston. Snake River is actually the producer, and we, we cook a lot with these at the restaurant, so. Awesome. I'm going to take, and I'm going to make a nice little rub out of them. We got the grill getting hot. Yep. What do you guys, why don't you guys go ahead, what, what do you, uh, what do you oh, guys yeah. going to be doing I'm going to bring it on, bring it up here. These are our Wagyu skirt steaks, if you can see it right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip them in a little uh, flour, a little egg wash, and then mm -hmm. a, uh, definitely a, a secret kind of batter seasoning that I have uh, that I'll probably share later uh, with the recipe. And then, of course, some bodacious beef seasoning on top oh, uh, oh, of oh. Our, uh, the chicken fried steak. I'm going to start oh. with a little Texas beer, a little Shire Vod in the uh, <laughs> stuff here. So that's well, I'm going to copy. Ingredient here. Shire Vod in there. In there. All right, Chef Brandon, what do you got going? I got, I, I'm going to copy. I got some bodacious beef seasoning. But I'm gonna jazz it up a little bit. Not that it wasn't good to begin with. Oops. I'm gonna add some fresh ground espresso coffee to mine. Woo! Did you hear that? Whoa. Wake you up. You know? I like that. I'm gonna just mix it. So on this coffee mixture, I just I just add a little bit of coffee grounds, and I just got the bodacious, bodacious coffee pick me up, and I'm gonna add that to my steak. Todd, you, you wanna add some? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna season these nice and liberally. Yep. Is that Hoiser coffee? Ah, uh, yeah, of course, you know. All right. No other better kind than the Hoiser coffee. That's right. Bloody Hoiser. Hoiser Country yeah. Blend, for sure. For sure. I, th I thought you guys only had the blue blue uh, can at the at the uh, camps that you guys go to. You remember the old blue I'm cans? Sorry, so you want, want you there? Some yeah, please. How much do you want? Go up to about there. Just, you know, enough to... I'm going to do, do multi... Uh, well, Is that good? Yep. Yep. All right, got a little bit of grape seed oil going in there, yes, sir. Which is Todd's, uh, Todd and mine's preferred choice of, in right. the fire disc. You can also use canola or anything like that, whatever you guys want. What are you guys using for oil? What's your fat? Uh, avocado oil. That's what we've been using oh. a lot of, uh, just because, as everybody knows, the fire disc gets really hot, so you don't want to burn the oil. So we've been using a lot that on a lot of things, and it works really well to just kind of coat a lot of the meats that you put on here it like chicken and then mm -hmm. pork chops especially uh the avocado oil works well we've also done um the avocado butter is really good we got some of that here we're gonna, oh, gonna no. throw it in here nice. make sure not to... there they go how right in there the, how do you make the avocado butter oh my gosh is that gonna be good okay we're gonna do the same because we want to get our steaks done first <laughs> we're gonna get them nice down in there seared Did y'all pound your chicken fried steak? Oh, uh, it's rocking. Uh, what, how big are they? Yeah, did you pound them? No, did you, did uh, you bigger, pound them out? Everything's bigger in Texas. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so did you, did you pound those out? Just keep your eye on them. <laughs> did you pound those out, Chris? Uh, yeah, well, when you, when you can start with a good piece of meat, like this Wagyu skirt steak, it's so tender already, uh, you really don't need to pound it out. Uh, there are some pieces of meat that you do need to to tenderize it, but this is so good and so well done, you really don't need to. 
Yeah. A lot of butter. I just added my peppers, and this is part for my salad. So we got peppers going in now. Mm -hmm. How about you guys? Where are you guys at? We are. Uh, we're still on the onions with a little char box. Yeah. Some foundation beef. I let these uh, get good. And yeah. Just I pop this pop in the chicken fried steak. I didn't fire this. So I'm actually using canola oil. Uh, here, yeah. it's a little bit thicker, and uh, it really good flavor to the chicken steak. So right. we're going quick over here. You know, the hardest thing took fast, especially when uh, oh, yeah. you got a lot of kids running around, which is a uh, good thing. Yeah, you're I'm, I'm now, like we all are. You got them collecting mosquitoes? Yeah, you got to have something quick. <laughs> yeah, the home's going. We got a couple kids in there uh, on the Zoom right now. So, perfect. That's right. <laughs> so I, I got my vegetables in there for my salad. I'm just gonna I get them nice and toasted. There. How these steaks looking? Steaks are looking good. Are you having salad today? Uh, we don't eat salad here. No, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Way too healthy for us. Yeah. So the all-you-can-eat steak with the salad bar means all-you-can-eat steak and no salad bar? <laughs> Hey, I have to say on the owner's group, I want to give a, a shout out to a couple people. I don't know if I can say their name or not, but I saw one guy cook like three gallons of salsa. That was one of the coolest things I've seen done on there. It's salsa, and then number two is the uh, everybody's pet. I think that's I love the, I love the pet photos on there. So whoever, yeah. whoever didn't install the I can't say your name, but that was awesome if you're watching. Yes. Please post pet pictures to fire this. People yeah. love their pets. Absolutely. And if there are uh, yeah. Yeah, more pet pictures, I think, are cool. Your dog's off in hunting camp, so we didn't have somewhere around yeah. here, but uh, he's super cool. Duck dog. He's strange. Yeah. No, it's, uh, boy, that Facebook group is, uh, is amazing. And anybody that's uh, watching, if you haven't joined the Facebook, you don't have to be a fire disc owner, you know, to join the Facebook group, but man, all kinds of cool recipes and, you know, it, it's amazing. I, I'm learning stuff every day. I can't, you know, get up in the morning, it, some, most of the time that's the first thing I do is get on that Facebook page and check it out, man. See what everybody's been cooking the night before. Or what they've been drinking. Ooh, yeah. Looking good. How you guys doing over there? Oh, hey, Brandon. Yo. We weren't there when we went down to see Todd, but can you tell us about the mustard pasta? Just a brief a little expert on the mustard on pasta. On the menu that you have it pronto. That's yeah, well, what we, do, what we do is we make all of our pasta from scratch there. And we make the spaghettini, and it's got mustard uh, powder in the blend. And um, it's, a, it's a play on Cacio Pepe, which has got egg, black pepper. Ours has got a, a pan-fried speck in it, which is a, a, a bacon prosciutto style. Um, Ooh, so amazing. And it's actually, it's probably our number one selling uh, pasta. We can do that next time, uh, but I, did, I just did, wanted to give you guys a chance to win on this one. Uh, so, that's, why we didn't do, that's why we didn't want to do it, you know? Right. Thank you for doing I, I, that. I just, <laughs> if you guys get down here, you guys try that. That's, that is Truly awesome. For your viewers that don't know, uh, Jeff Brandon has uh, three restaurants in Florida that are absolutely outstanding, and uh, I highly recommend it. They're all, all right, cool. Truly amazing. But my favorite was probably the mustard pasta, and uh, process. Truly, yeah, cool. no doubt. Yeah, that's a definitely a fan favorite. Our steak's looking great. I don't know how you guys eat it in Texas. I like mine a little on the rare side, medium rare. Todd, your yes. same? Yeah. Yes, me too. Okay. So. Oh yeah. Got the so we can always add these. That, that one's a little so bit thicker. Yeah. We don't slice and dice beforehand. We throw them in full. Keep that oh, yeah. Right and then chop it up. Yeah, and then don't be afraid to throw in the onions and the garlic. Yeah. And then these tongs, we, Griff and I were messing with these uh, ones. Woo -woo! That kind of have to, 
couldn't find a pair of tongs that would kind of drain. Maybe there's some out there. I haven't seen a lot of them, but the cool thing about that takes a lot of, uh, get a lot of food in there, and then you can kind of knock off the, the grease on them. So anyway, if, you, if anybody's interested in those. Um, they grab it, right? Yeah, they do. They, they do. don't have a yeah, break. You can just put them up to lock them, and then they just like this, and then they'll stay. There you go. Pretty simple, yeah. No lever to break. I'm going to use two hands, so. Anyway, trying to awesome. come out with, uh, with some stuff people uh, enjoy using, so trying to, trying to really work on that. So how how you guys come along? We just we just pulled the stakes off. We um, pull pulling the vegetables okay. off right now to make our set little salad. Where are you guys at? We, where are you at, Grip? We're pretty close on these We're steaks. Close, I think. These, these mushrooms are just about done here. Um, at the end, this is normally way fancier than the Grip and I get, but we uh, we're actually close to the store here, so we. Uh, we got some non-expired items, uh, yeah, with, uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, and some time here. So this is this is pretty fancy. Good man, man. And I, I did whip up some great uh, gravy, uh, special recipe green gravy. The top of uh, we took it for to take off here shortly after. Uh, I'm, I just flipped them, so we're getting real close to being done here. I don't know if y'all are still on your salad, but we're already on the main course. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> green gravy, you can pretty much yeah, you can dip whatever, you can whatever you can do. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, that's right. Don't go salad here because we don't do salad. No, no salad. Yeah, salad and green gravy. Just all right, all right, fellas. So. All right, well, we're gonna take our, our, our python, also known as Florida Caribbean lobster, oh, in there. Lobsters and are going in. Lobsters going that's in. I'm gonna show these oh my God, bad boys in the shell. I know you guys can. Woo, smell that lobster. Ah, uh, they cook very quickly. Yeah, so, it, won't, it won't take long. So you can see how they're already, they go about three minutes, I, I'd say, when they're splitting the shell like that. Let's see, you can already see them going. I just turn it down and get the cut. And, and we're kind of doing that pan fried. And we're going to let them cool lightly before we go into our salad with them. So I got some tomatoes, some cucumber, and some avocado to go with the uh, roasted peppers and fire roasted onion. And I'm gonna make this up. I got a little Thai chili sauce, a uh, little bit of hot hot pepper vinegar, and some fresh mint and basil, lime. Call it a day, yo. Woo! Yeah, I'm looking good. Oh, yo. Yeah. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. I, hey, I did want to say, I think. You know, from Jeff and I, uh, to all the people out there, um, you know, I know that's a tough time for everybody. It's just, there's a lot of stuff going on. But, you know, we appreciate you letting us play a little part and getting the family together. And I think we really like seeing, you know, just the, the stuff people are doing at home, the family traditions, the family recipes, and stuff that's been kind of passed down. Um, so we appreciate, you know, letting Fire just play a little part of uh of, of that with your, your families out there that are customers. So we just yeah. want, to, want to say thanks for that and we'll all get to you this week. We will. And it's, uh, it's and, uh, we do enjoy seeing all the recipes and the, the experimental recipes are awesome. Uh, stuff that I've never even thought of, but it's incredible. So if you see both notes on the fire disc group page, you're going to send them in. So on my peppers and uh, onions hot, I'm going to get a little fresh cracked garlic in there. They are. Ooh, those are looking yeah. good. You want to see if they're ready? Yeah, I think they're about ready. I'm, a yeah, man, I'm about to pop on here with spring gravy. Oh, yeah. Almost. Yep. Yeah. About another 30 seconds. About another 30 seconds. You guys, can, you guys see, can, can you guys see this? Sorry, go ahead, Todd. No, I was just going to say about another 30 seconds on these uh, beautiful lobster here. Nice. I know we see a lot of times the fire just gets real hot. It does get hot. I totally understand that. Uh, you know, the one of the best things to do is just, just turn it off a little bit and you know, it's hard to, to fight science on some of this um, some of this stuff, but it, it does really good at that and uh, you know just kind of move the stuff to the side and let some of the juices drain in the middle. You can turn it off for a little bit, switch it back on, um, and do a little bit of that. 
Absolutely. Chef Brandon, what you got going on there? I already got my I got my hot uh, peppers and my my uh, onions that I just kind of show it under the camera Oops, right see? there. Right there. Okay. I'm gonna take some uh, cucumber. I'm just gonna get that in there. Look at that grip. That's how we do it. <laughs> Brandon's real you know? pro. He is a pro. You can go and do it, but you know what? It's like that that sticker in Texas. Don't don't tread on me. This thing will bite you. So. Well, I appreciate Brandon and you for teaching everybody all the knowledge. It's really cool to see we've gotten a lot of comments into you know, our company uh, from the stuff you guys have done on on this uh, fired up. Fired up Friday on, on, I guess we're episode eight now, but uh, it's amazing yeah. the amount of compliments we've gotten on your cooking and people wanting to go try it. And uh, we've done the same thing. I'm going to go try oh, it. Yeah. It's uh, it's super awesome. We're, we're learning. Yeah, so if you all haven't noticed, Chef Brandon has a knowledge of uh, culinary cooking that's way beyond Hunter and I. I mean, we designed the fire disc, but we could not cook like him. I promise you that. That's yeah, right. you can, but you know what? You got to do it smiling. That's it. Just be happy. That's it. I think we're pretty much done. Maybe give that a little more basin oil. All so, right. hey, you want to just flip those up here and show them with the steak? So I like to let my steak rest for about eight to ten minutes before I slice into it, and the fire disc was perfect in allowing me to do that. Um, we can just put them right up here, right there. All right. Hey, Jeff, how are you guys doing over there on time? We're done over here, guys. Okay, I'm meeting up with you, man. Yeah, we're just about done. Can we t we sh shut this off? Yep, definitely. All right, I'm fire disc going here. off, fellas. I got a couple little 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 ingredients right, in here. I just got my fresh yep. lime in there. All right, got my fresh well, I'm lime. Use the I'm gonna get some tomato. Frying weapon here, drain the grease. I mean, Plastic you don't see that? Off. I mean, that's perfection. And I can just cut through oh, it yeah. a little little. It's gonna be amazing. That's Look awesome. Those babies. Oh my gosh! Here, I'm gonna give you a plate, Mark. Yeah. Well, I, I tell you, these these plate. these folks are these folks are gonna have a hard time picking between the two. I can tell you that. Uh, <laughs> telling you, well, this really. is too, you know, not it's really. Of, it's it's totally, we're Texas down here, so this is kind of the the total of Texas recipe here. Got your onions. You got some beautiful heirloom tomatoes that I'm putting in there last I don't minute. Know where the camera is, but am I there? Can you see me? Yeah, the cream gravy. Yeah. Cream gravy hadn't gone even on this thing yet. Man, it's looking good. It's looking good for sure. On top of the cream gravy. Yeah. I think What's I in your green gravy? Grab that. Talk to me about their green gravy. Green gravy. Yeah. yeah it's the talk to us. Talk, side of this. talk to us about that gravy. What 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 is that gravy? You got yeah, so about in there? four thousand calories. It's, uh, <laughs> It's a special <laughs> start with. Texas country cream gravy. And like we said earlier, you just dip anything in cream gravy, it's good. The mushrooms, the chicken fried steak, anything, anything you like. Let me have a little mushroom. Yeah, let me get you. Get Dish me up there, too. I got you, buddy. Here we go. Oh, my lordy. All right. Hey, hey don't man, walk away from the people that up. All right. So the cool thing is, we'll... We'll be putting these recipes up on firediscookers.com. So we'll, we'll uh, make sure everybody has access to these awesome recipes. And Chef Brandon's uh, got the salad. Uh, woo, looking. Avocado. Put some avocado in there. Salad. Tomato. I, I threw the avocado in there for Texas measure. Some chili pepper paste. I'm going to move a little closer here to the camera. So Y'all can see the, uh, the amazingness right there. I mean, just, it's just put the mushrooms right in. Simple Texas country cooking on the fire disc. And we did that in a matter of what? 10, 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smell that. Let me try this wagon. Mm. Y'all got smell a vision in there? Yeah. This is about as okay, healthy look, as Look at that yeah. knife just simply cut through there. And you don't even. It's unreal. Oh my God. I can't wait. I can't <laughs> well, wait so to the, taste the ours. guys that. Duke's got us this meat. Thank you guys. Really appreciate that. Very, very nice of you. And uh, I mean, it just this really. I mean, good look stuff. at that. The, the knife. You can just stick your knife on top, and it just slides right through. You don't good, even need to cut. Mm. Those guys out. Oh man. I gotta tell. It's in the salad, but this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I gotta tell you. Man, we just. <laughs> we just slayed you. I just tasted the lobster. Oh my lobster. goodness gracious. So I'm, I'm, I'm cutting up the lobster. I'm throwing in the salad last minute, nice and hot. Woo! Good stuff. <laughs> Texas style. 
Like you guys, we're going to serve on one of our, really our platters here. <clears throat> yeah. Well, shout out to uh, <clears throat> Dukes and Todd and Taylor. Dillingham, you guys have some incredible meat here, i got to say. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah. I'm going to go back for a second here. We've been using the Snake River at, at, at our restaurants for over 15 years. I love their products, and Dukes uh, is a great representative of uh, carrying that, that line from Idaho, uh, upper uh, lower Washington, sorry. And I've actually been out there to their farms. They even bought me a cowboy hat. Woo! Yeah, really? I know. I didn't. And, <laughs> and, and you want to talk about a first-class operation of, of American Wagyu uh, from, from Southern Cowboys. That's awesome. They do great. And this, this, this skirt steak has so much flavor. I cut it with the grain. Did y'all cut it with the grain? I think we did. Yeah. 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 We did. We got that one right. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You got that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was, a, that was affirmative. Roger. Right. Uh, okay. Well, make sure you guys, you know, make sure you guys take a, take a great picture of, of that, uh, that plate you got there so we can show. We will. We will. Our, uh... So, and here we go. We're just going to put our salad right there. You want to hold that, Tom? Right here. I'll just, look at that. The lobster you guys, tomato. You guys are about to see this in two seconds. All right. And this is how I like Salad to eat at home. Nice and, nice and healthy and quick. And that's why I think the fire disc just kicked ass on. <laughs> no? Definitely kicked our ass in the healthy factor. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one. yeah. Okay. We're, yeah, we're okay. voting on different And now I'm going to get some of those juices healthy. on there. Yeah, we'll give you the healthy Ooh. one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Cause that'll... All right. Well, I'm going to put it right over the fire disc here. Can you see that, Jimmy? How's that look? Amazing. And I'm going to show it. I've got these guys over here. God, that looks awesome, guys. Way to go. Wow, that looks cool. Can you see that? Oh, my lord. Huh? Wow. Well done. Well done. I got to say. That is going to be a close vote. Presentation-wise, that's pretty good looking. I got to say. Not bad for python hunters, huh? That's right. That's right. Oh, that's awesome. Well, good deal. Is quarantine fast filming? One a category? Yes, yes, it was. Quarantine <laughs> fat. Yeah, we can, Quarantine we can fat. That one. Right. Yeah, voting category. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. Well, I, I tell you, let, let me talk a little bit about, before we, we uh, say goodbye here to, to Griffin Hunter, we've got, uh, again, join the Facebook group. It's awesome. A lot of great recipes out there. People are cooking all over the place. So be sure to check that out and join. You don't have to be a fire disc owner to join. Also, we've got some great monthly giveaways uh, going on and then coming up in September. So we've, right now we've got the, uh, we've partnered with, uh, with Slow and Low, which is an amazing, amazing old fashioned in a bottle. I tell you, I got, I got a sample. I'm, I mean, that's my new happy hour drink. What do you guys think about Slow and Low? Hey, old fashioned Fridays, we're bringing those back. New yeah. tradition. Yes. We need it. Old fashioned so. Friday. This, this, Everybody knows we should make how this. difficult it can be to make an old fashioned uh, at times. And that's why this is such a great product because it's an old fashioned in a bottle. You cut it with a little ice, put a little orange slice, and you're done. It's awesome. Yeah, I it's, highly recommend it. Slow and low. For the whiskey guys out there, like we hear a lot of them, they're all around the Highland camps talking about their best whiskey. Yeah. It's pretty primo, I have to say. It is it is outstanding. I'm not a connoisseur, Let's but Let's talk it's, about this beef real quick. It's good. Yeah, it just ripped yeah. apart. <laughs> you guys like the beef? Mm. Now that's, that's good. The beef is fantastic. Anyways, so slow and low giveaway. You can go to firediscookers.com. You can go to our Facebook page. You'll see, you know, uh, a link to enter to win. So we're giving away a cooker package and also a slow and low um, swag package. And I think a, a, a coupon. You got to be 21 to enter, though. And uh, discount coupon for slow and low. So that'll be awesome. Also, every month. We're giving away a cooker, so make sure you go to, you know, firediscookers.com, and at the top in the menu, there's a, you know, a monthly giveaway. Make sure you sign up if you haven't done that. And then also, I'm going to keep rolling here, guys. Um, we have right now going on end of summer sale, which is awesome. Jimmy, can you put that up on there? You got it? Anyway, so it's $50 off any cooker or cooker bundle plus free shipping, so... If you're ready to go, and Labor Day's coming up, man. I, I know I'm cooking my every meal on Labor Labor Day weekend on my on my fire disc. So, anyway, so make sure you go there, check that out. We've got that going on, man. I tell you, what else we got going on? 
Well, I, I want to say, I mean, again, thank you to everyone. You know, our mission has been to design good products, you know, that are useful for you and your family and, and your friends and everything like that. We have some really neat, innovative stuff coming this fall. So yeah. uh, be on the lookout for that. We got some October, really cool baby, stuff. October, three new products coming out. Keep the recommendations coming and everything else. So uh, we appreciate it, everybody. Stay safe, for sure. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Again, Chef Brandon amazing i don't know we'll see what's in the tally right in the comments so make sure that you you vote in the comments which one you like better the florida fantastic fantastic florida fantastic florida wagyu and, and lobster and they can make their own agenda uh, and, objective and what, what are you guys calling that texas uh you know stuff down there that texas chicken fried steak yeah it's, it's, it's not complicated. It's easy. It's Shinerbach steak and mushrooms. Stay local. You know, it's, you good. Know, it's good. It's good stuff. Woo. But the quarantine awesome. gravy, great. Nice. Well, I look well, forward to that recipe. I want to see it in, in the living. You got That's it. Great. All right. All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate everybody tuning in. You know, a little, uh, little crazy times going on now but uh hope you guys are enjoying this please you know let us know if you have any recipes you'd like to see chef brandon's you know full of ideas but we'd love to show you what you'd like to you know to cook as well griffin hunter can't thank you enough for everything and you know for inventing this fantastic product and you know it really makes people's lives better and i definitely during this quarantine time and the whole covid thing it's it's been a it's been a you know, an important piece of our lives as a family as well. So can't thank you enough. And we will see all of you next month. Griffin Hunter. Have thank you, guys. Weekend. Thank you to our thank customers. You. We'll we'll see guys. Thank good. you, Chef Brandon. All right, guys. We'll see we'll y'all. All right. Thanks. You guys be good. All right. All right. Good. We'll see you. Thank you.